as a leader, the kind of relationships you have with the people you lead affects the kind of results you'll get. If you have a bad relationship, the probability your results will be bad are greatly increased. If you have a good relationship, good results are much more likely. Do you know how to develop good relations at work? In this episode, I introduce to you the four foundations to develop good relations at work. You will see they are easy to remember and I bet you have what it takes to practice them. Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from IMPI. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. How to develop good relations at work? First, I want to give credit to Roger Billas and the Gamba Academy who trained me on the job relations course. I borrow from them a good chunk of the material in this video. As a supervisor, a manager or an executive, get the job done with and through the people. If your leadership behavior is good and consistent, they will want to do the job when it should be done and how it should be done. These four foundations for good relations can help you develop good leadership practices. The first foundation is to let each of our employees know how he or she is getting along. In other words, we can give them frequent feedback about how they're doing with their responsibilities. Frequently doesn't mean during the annual or biannual employee review process. Instead, we should be providing feedback on a regular basis, even daily when appropriate. If you have a regular one-on-one -on -one with your team members, it is also a meeting where you can let your employees know how they are getting along. The second foundation is to give credit when due. In other words, when someone does a great job or sacrifices for the team, they should be recognized. Giving public recognition actually causes serotonin one of the so-called feel-good chemicals to flood the person being recognized. So we must always make a point to give credit when due. The third foundation is to tell people in advance about changes that will affect them. Have you ever had an organizational change announced without any prior warning? If so, how did it feel? For individuals, part of the discomfort of change comes from the sense of loss of control when the expectation about the future is disrupted, when they are unable to dictate the outcome or able to anticipate the outcome. That's why people don't like change, they don't see coming. So if changes are coming, we must do our best to tell people in advance, especially when the change is directly affecting them. Finally, the fourth foundation is to make the best use of each person's ability. This foundation is a classic example of respect for people in action. Many times our employees are capable of so much more than they are asked to do. We must make a point to seek out ways to leverage the unique strength and capabilities of our employees. Providing employees with a level of work variety increases their sense of purpose too. And those are the four foundations for good relations. So let's recap. Foundation one, let each employee know how he or she is doing. Tell the employee what is expected. Point out ways to improve. Foundation two, give credit when due. Recognize extra or unusual performance. Give recognition 
while it's fresh. Foundation three, tell employees in advance about changes that will affect them, explain why, if possible, give them time to accept the change. And foundation four, make best use of each person's ability. Look for ability not now being used. Never stand in the way of the employee. And that's it. Those foundations for good relations, though they seem simple and intuitive, are practices that need to be developed. And that's not easy. So think it through and get a plan to actually implement them. Doing this will help keep the job relations line strong and avoid many people-related problems. And these are the good quotes for this episode. In the job relations course, you will find that a supervisor gets results through people and people must be treated as individuals. Isn't this beautiful? Should you wish to meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching, send me an email at wwd at impi.solutions. I will enthusiastically meet with the first three of you. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, turn the four foundations for good relations into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, treat people as individuals.